the extractive industry presents a catalytic opportunity for women economic empowerment. However, unlike their male counterparts, women are disadvantaged due to their exclusion from the value chain and their limited capacity to take advantage of the available productive opportunities. And that is why we are really experiencing a lack of women in decision-making powers. Stakeholders in the extractive industry are seeking to mitigate and address this. At any effort that is being directed at building human technical capital for the industry must have a specific focus on how to attract more than 50% of the population that's available as a workforce. Salient evidence suggests gender bias in the distribution of risks, costs, as well as benefits within the extractive sector. So, well, energy and mining are national issues. They've not been devolved. So even the county government has very little scope for which where it can intervene and, and ensure that the women are also included in the process. Experts warn, if not addressed, they could further widen the gender gap in access to resources and resource-related opportunities. Kenya is alive to the recent large-scale discovery of oil, gas and minerals in different parts of the country. This has propelled her towards economic growth geared towards reducing poverty levels. Despite inroads made to empower women financially, a significant number are still lagging behind, ranked among the poorest. Women here about this sector, energy, they think of it being very scientific. They think of it being maybe difficult to do. And in their mind, they have never maybe thought about it. Consequently, the private sector has been challenged to invest more in gender mainstreaming in the extractive sector through the revision of corporate policies, operations and investment strategies. As the world marks International Women's Day, stakeholders within the extractive industry are urging women to take advantage of the available investment opportunities, given that the current policy framework is not only inclusive but also friendlier. Regina Munyara Gitao reporting for Channel One Business News.